Without a doubt, I would definitely say we are America's best looking couple for a fact, hands down. Well, that's definitely a bold claim. What is up, guys? This is Joe here today, and welcome back to a brand new video. And today, we're going to find out why these people are America's best looking couple, I guess. Oh, hey. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I was just checking out your grocery cart. Oh, that's fine. So this is an essential muscle building tool right here. Yeah. But this, this isn't going to do anything. So let's take this out of the cart. Uh, I like carrots. Though. Carrots do not build mass. Obnoxious bodybuilders, gotta love them because they will go out of their way to make sure you know that they, in fact, lift bro, ah! even though you can tell but just by looking at them, they lift weights. But let's get right into this video. For Buck and Michelle Miller, fitness is their business. And the personal trainers and competitive bodybuilders certainly don't lack confidence. This dude has all the confidence we need for 2019. I mean, this is the type of energy we need to take notes of, but uh, tone down just, just a little bit. If there was a competition for the world's best looking couple, I would sign up right now. Us? I can't see how that's not us, Hannah. Yeah, bud. <laughs> Body obsessed Buck, age 26, and his wife Michelle spend a staggering £50,000 each year on manicures, pedicures, haircuts, tanning, gym membership, and supplements. One thing I've always been so confused about is how bodybuilders are so dedicated to be in impeccable shape. Like, they have to be top athlete. Like, they are superhuman. They're the closest you get to superhuman, yet they go so overboard with the tanning. It's insane. Like, I hope they really do realize that any form of artificial tanning is awful for them. Like, you're hitting up the gym, you're taking your vitamins and your 3,000 supplements a day, you have your 12 different meal preps ready for you, but then you just go lay in a tanning bed all day? Or get a spray tan or something like that? Like, why? I'm, I'm, I'm just confused on that. If someone could explain that to me, I'll be much appreciated. Along with their punishing schedule, which can see them visiting the gym up to six times a day. I'm sorry, what? Six times a day? Uh, <laughs> I mean, okay, if it was six times a week, I would completely understand it. That's just very healthy. Six times a day? I guess that's what they do. The only thing they do is shape their body. Six times a day. That's completely madness. I mean, hopefully they're best in class if they go to the gym six times a day, seven times a week. That's insane. I, I was I was going to ask, do they have jobs? But I realized, oh, well, I mean, if they're going to the gym six times a day, obviously that is their job. Like they, they have to make a living off their bodies or else it just would not make sense. God, why even leave though? That's like the thing I'm like- <laughs> Why leave the gym? <laughs> oh, why leave the gym when you can just live in the gym? Wait, actually, why don't they just have their gym at home? Yeah, or why not just work out for longer periods and less, like not- Honestly, I think they're professionals looking at their body. They probably know better than what we do. Oh, 100%. 33 <laughs> year old Michelle has had surgery to enhance her appearance. I went from a C34 to a double D. I had surgery done because of having a child. My body changed and I wasn't happy about the appearance. For a guy, great, you can build that chest, but for a woman, you will lose your breasts. Having plastic surgery definitely made a big impact on keeping my femininity. That was important to me. Right, so they apparently have a child. Where's the child though? Do they just bring it to the gym? You just have like mom and dad lifting weights, taking Instagram pictures of each other. Like, do I look, do I look this angle good? This flex, is this the best one, babe? Yeah, and the poor kids in the background like, uh. <laughs> I think that some gyms actually have like a kid's like, like- Oh, they probably do. Are these the type of people you think train at Planet Fitness? I mean, is that supposed to be a subtle dig at Planet Fitness? I don't get it. I mean, like, if they train at Planet Fitness, that kid is so used to that hunk alarm or whatever they call it. Oh, right. That alarm that goes off every time you grunt or pick up a weight or drop a weight or anything that like true? that. Or is it just like- No, yeah, it's a genuine thing. Pictures and mirrors adorn almost every wall of the image-obsessed couple's Las Vegas home as they constantly strive to improve their physiques. Every time we walk by a mirror, we look, not because we're cocky, but just because you're always critiquing yourself. Okay, so I'm no psychologist, but isn't hyper-analyzing yourself, like, awful for your own mental health? I mean, yes, most 
people are perpetually changing and critiquing themselves, whether it being like their own appearance, their work, their lifestyle, et cetera, et cetera. But like it gets to the point where overanalyzing yourself will become harmful. And obviously they are completely obsessed. <laughs> we keep pictures of us around the house from our shows as motivation. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah, of course. That's a reminder to never ever get comfortable with myself. Never get comfortable because people would die to have that. To me, that's that. I need to give you 10 times better than that. I know that sounds crazy, but that's just our mentality. This is me with YouTube content. The first time I get a genuine copyright strike, I'm gonna frame it and put it on the wall so I can never get comfortable with myself. So I always have to look at the strike on the wall and I'm like, all right, if I mess up twice more, it's over. <laughs> if someone were to say to me I'm vain, there's two responses. If they were being smart about it, I would tell them to take off their shirt and I would take off my shirt and I would ask them to repeat what they just said. Okay, scratch the video I did like two videos ago. We have found the official ultimate alpha male right here. Not not the alpha male YouTube champ. This guy is even more alpha than alpha male. Imagine like unironically referring to yourself as an alpha male. Dude, Fousey tube. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. No, genuinely, I feel like people who unironically refer themselves as alpha males kinda are a little bit loopy. Yeah. A little bit manic. Might be trailing off the main path. Might be focusing a little bit too much on the side quests. Imagine like entering a room and like the first thing on your mind is asserting your dominance. Just you enter a room, instantly goes. I am alpha male. Big, big weightlifter here. <laughs> Why did I put on that voice? No idea. <laughs> oh, you can use the, uh... I am alpha male. <laughs> no, do it on the man one. The last one's the man voice, I think. I am alpha male. Hannah spent $15 on this. She spent $15 so I could change my voice in a video. You got it's, scammed. It's the world's smallest voice changer, and yes, I was scammed. Do the first one. I am... I spent $15 for this. <laughs> no, but back to the video. Imagine unironically saying, take your shirt off, bro, and I'll rip mine off, and then we'll see who's gonna do talking like that again. <laughs> How are people seriously like that? Are you serious? I feel like it's like he's going back to like caveman attitude. It's like barbaric, like caveman attitude going on here. Like what's really going on? Like, dude, are you serious? Like no modern person in society will like, yeah, bro, take your shirt off and say that again. <laughs> take your shirt off and say that again. The fact that he says that being so serious. Like obviously, yes, he, he could murder me with his bare hands if he wanted to. He could like with his fingers probably just He'd Thanos snap me away, straight up. But still, it's so cringy. It's just so cringy. I don't want to be the guy going like, oh yeah, that's so cringy, dude. <laughs> Leafy is here. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. But wow, it's really cringy. <laughs> Honestly, I am shook that people like this actually exist. We don't stand. And then if they were being sincere about it and very curious, curiosity, I'd be like, listen, I don't question that you go out every Friday night, you drink. I don't talk negative about your lifestyle. Don't talk negative about mine. I don't hate on your lifestyle. Don't hate on mine. I can't see anybody that looked at their self in a positive way saying you're vain, but I could see it coming from somebody that wasn't happy with their self. I feel like he's definitely calling someone out very specifically in this very moment. He's like, listen, Steven, I don't talk about your depressing lifestyle. I've seen how you stay going out every weekend. How's your liver doing, bud? Because mine's doing actually great. Because I lift weights, bro. <laughs> Maybe he's not quite like that, but I feel like he's coming off like that. I don't think you can see anything. Wait. Hell yeah. You couldn't even see a raise. Uh, not tightening. It's hiding. <laughs> Do you see a difference? I don't. <laughs> oh, I really hope I don't engage hand-to-hand -hand combat with this man soon. That would not be good. You could like be this with your mind. No, because then he'll be like, Yo, bro, take your shirt off, bro. And I'd be like, No, bro, I got love handles. And they're aware that people check them out wherever they go. Oh, he has the I had to do it on him pose on lock. Look at this man. He has professionalized this pose. When we're together, it's just 
you know, people look, people look. I mean, if you guys were to follow us walking down the strip or in grocery store, or even if we take our son to Chuck E. Cheese, everyone's just looking like, holy it's, cow, that is one jacked bargain. couple. Yeah. You do. I, I work hard for it. <laughs> Hannah, how would you react to her? She'd probably kill me within a millisecond. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> Like, I give her props though, like, hello respect. Both of them, you know, whatever, it's just a lifestyle thing. I honestly don't know, like, how did this topic come up with them though? The fact that they're like, we're probably America's best looking couple. <laughs> I don't know, because like, obviously they're extremely hardworking. They have like an unreal gym ethic. Like, the amount of dedication they put into themselves are, like, that's insane. And that you can look up to that as much as you want. But like being that arrogant about your body, it's a yikes. It's a yikes for me. It's just not normal it's at like all. It's like it's a weird thing to say. <laughs> it's just so odd. But I still manage to look like a woman, so it's nice. You can still, you can still have, uh, still have muscles. Muscles are sexy. <laughs> One more. Oh, <laughs> cute. Should we try that? <laughs> No, no. <laughs> Despite the amount of time the couple spend on looking their best, they still have the full support of their 12-year-old son, Kyla. Yeah, I love to look like my dad. He's a bodybuilder, so that's what he's supposed to look like. He's supposed to look really fit, nice, big, other words. <laughs> right now, I think I'm coming close. <laughs> okay, but why is their son so cute? Like, they, they came on here acting super obnoxious, and then they just have, like, this sweet little kid here. There's a contrast between the parents and the kid, that's for sure. Like, isn't the dad like, yeah, take your shirt off, and, I'll, <laughs> and we'll see you talking then. And the kid comes on, he's like, yeah, I'm really cute and adorable. And you're like, what? <laughs> How did this happen? And for Buck and Michelle... The hard work and sacrifices they make for their appearance are completely worth it. When you think about it, that's like, who wouldn't want a million bucks? Who wouldn't want an eight pack and a small waist? Who wouldn't want a nice butt and nice legs? There's people that would give an arm to have my body. Well, you have that here, but then you also have Panda Express here. So I'm gonna go here. My hand is now Panda Express. That's really cool, actually. That's what some people would say is quite trippy dude hits yo that's deep bro uh, that like really deep, symbolizes like our society as a whole and like how <laughs> oh that is extremely deep i never thought how of would, it that way how would a human say that just like that like he just formed those words into a sentence and he actually just made so much sense of it it's just so deep bro I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. We're different. We stand out. I have yet to see a jack couple like us. I have yet to see a couple that imitates our lifestyle. And we're not trying to prove anything to anyone. It's just who we are. I have. If you download this app called uh, Instagram, not quite sure if you've heard of it, but if you hit the explore page, well, you kind of find a hundred different variants of this fit couple, and each one is actually more annoying than the next, and it's pretty insane. Also, while you're on that app Instagram, you should definitely follow Adatozy. But yeah. On that note, I'll be wrapping today's video up. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like down below. If you're new here, I welcome you to my channel. And it'll be awesome if you subscribed. And like I said earlier, if you want to follow me outside of YouTube, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter as Adatozy. Links will be down in the description down below. But on that note, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Heard you had a lot to say. Now you don't really talk too much, though. I've been running out these gates. But I'm not ever really late, no. Yeah. I've been seeing all these sights, been traveling in my suitcase, I pack light, I got my plans.